Remember Mom and Alo, my name, my partner is Lydia Lane and we're going to talk about sexual harassment. Sexual harassment is unwanted offensive touching, unwanted offensive romantic attention, offensive sexual speech, offensive sexual conduct or gestures, unwanted exposure to pornography, unwanted con text messages or emails, conditioning job benefits on sex, being forced to have sex to keep or get your job. 87% of American women between ages 18 and 64 are harassed. And even now in your age, have you experienced any type of sexual harassment? Yeah, because they're still alive, the dirty old men that used to be my bosses. And it seems like the dirty old men still think that stuff's okay. There is a man who, there's a person who repairs my swamp cooler. Yeah, he's really good at preparing swamp coolers, otherwise we wouldn't call him, okay? <laughs> he's so disgusting, and he's such a pig, and he says these disgusting, harassing kind of sexual things to you, and he, you can tell he really thinks it's okay. He really does. And so you're tolerating it to get your cooler fixed, you know? Again, I feel that same position of, I gotta put up with you because I need this thing done. Um, some of the older men, the philosophy and the way they were raised, that stuff, you know, oh, he's just a dirty old man. It's disgusting. It really is disgusting. Reasons why women put up with harassment. Reason one, women often believe that no one will do anything about it. Reason two, women are afraid they will be blamed. Crimes, victim blaming often fuels misogyny. Sometimes I hear people talk about how she needs to face the consequences for her actions. In this bizarre mindset, violation is framed as a deserved punishment, usually for a woman who's stepped out of line. In this way Reason three, women do not want to hurt the harasser. Sometimes I hear people say things like, men rape people. That's the way it is. Some of the common emotional and physical reactions Poor concentration at work. Strain on personal relationships. Fear and anxiety. Debilitating depression. Problems with sleep and weight. What many of the victims feel. The victims blame themselves too. There's a whole series of mental gymnastics. If you are a victim, what you can do. Say no clearly. Document the harassment. Get emotional support. Document your work. Explore the company channels. File a complaint. What you can do to help. Come to a victim's defense if you witness sexual harassment. Contact friends or vulnerable individuals to make sure they get home safely. Say no if somebody is about to share a personal Snapchat or photo to others. Refuse to join in degrading conversations that keep sexualism alive. Educate your children about sexual harassment. Now, last few words of encouragement. It's okay to you know, say something to somebody. Tell the teacher, look, I don't like him talking to me like that. I don't want him to touch me like that. You know, I don't want that done to me. Whether it's my body or the words being said to me, it's not all right. So yeah, I think you gotta speak up. Yeah. Okay, thank you. That's You're all. welcome. If you were assaulted, it was absolutely not your fault. If you were raped, it was not your fault. There was nothing that you did to invite that. If you had photos stolen, photos of you distributed, it wasn't your fault. You have a right to be sexual with your partner in ways that you consent to and no more than that. If you were harassed by someone, it's not your fault. If you were abused by someone, it's not your fault. You have a right to safety and respect no matter what.